Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Bryce Watts. I have a practice in Portland, Oregon, where I specialize in uh, diagnostic sports, ultrasound, interventional orthopedics, and uh, shockwave treatment. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about hydrodissection techniques um, for Achilles tendon. Um, the image that you can see on ultrasound here is from a 40-year-old female that presented in my clinic uh, with several years of pain in her Achilles tendon. You can see from the imaging, she has some extensive tendinosis in the deep fibers in the Achilles tendon with an area of partial tearing, as well as an area of retrocalcaneal bursitis and some continued hyperechoic uh, tissue from uh, Kager's fat pad deep to uh, the Achilles tendon here. Um, this is a, a good case for not only considering doing some more extensive treatment inside the Achilles tendon, but also for um, utilizing hydrodissection techniques to uh, separate this tissue. Um, considerations for when to um, work with hydrodissection and the Achilles uh, tendon work um, versus just the hydrodissection itself. I usually make that decision um, for uh, athletes maybe in season that um, need to have a quick recovery and continue to participate or um, for uh, laborers uh, that need to return to work in a quicker fashion and, and don't have the time for rehabilitation and healing of uh, the Achilles tendon itself. Um, this first video that you'll see here, this is showing technique um, of uh, the injection of anesthetic uh, prior to any sort of uh, hydrodissection uh, procedure. Um, this is coming from lateral to medial. Um, again, paying attention to the coursing of the sural nerve um, as you're doing this injection. Um, but as you can see, there's the filtration of um, anesthetic fluid along either side of uh, the Achilles tendon and making sure to not only look in short axis, but also long axis and um, ensure that you're uh, going along the uh, entire length. So they have um, uh, decreased discomfort uh, for this procedure. Uh, next video that you'll see is actually utilizing a um, tendon debridement device, but uh, this could very easily be a 20 gauge needle or 18 gauge needle, something with a little bit uh, thicker gauge. Uh, so that can be uh, slipped between that tissue of the Achilles tendon, the underlying fat pad, um, and is firm enough to be able to separate some of this tissue. But as you'll see here, as stated, this is a tendon debridement device that's um, allowing me to um, slide in past that tissue and actually take down some of this um, unwanted um, inflamed uh, tissue uh, in that interface. Um, this was utilized uh, to penetrate the Achilles tendon as well, as you can see up into this area. But as stated previously, if you're not doing any tendon work itself, this can be um, left inside that uh, uh, fascial plane between the tendon and the underlying fat pad um, with very good success. Thank you for listening.